Oh, no, 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 that's if you include it in the bakery. So this is Katie looking and trying to find things around here that we can do. This is the planning that this, this trip has like brought us through, which is fine. We don't have like- I just like, found a tank. Yeah, you did. <laughs> And we're just trying to figure out like where we can walk to and stuff. There's a whole bunch of touristy stuff in this area. So, yeah, so if we walk a 30 minute walk, we get to the tank and that's on the road where the bus is. There's some, some food around there and we just go there, check out this tank. If there's anything else in the area, we check it out. We eat lunch and then we get back on the um, bus and go and get our stuff. And then, I don't know. That's the planning, yeah. We are packing up to leave our little, uh, <laughs> our little ryokan that we spent the last two nights in that didn't have a place to take a shower. Oh, and it also has a, new, a creature that lives in the ceiling. <laughs> I was gonna get last this. night, God, it must have been probably It was 3 3.16 in the morning, because I woke Dude, me I up. I didn't even look at the clock. Yeah, it woke me up. Just no time. So we're sleeping here, and there's this really loud, screeching, scratching noise going on over here, like. <laughs> And then something climbs up into this area or maybe even the ceiling area and runs across over here, runs across over this way and then down and then comes over and like sits and stops moving somewhere in the middle of the ceiling. And this was no mouse, y'all. This yes, was like a beast. It sounded heavy to the point that I thought, okay, it stopped basically above our feet. And I just thought to myself, all right. If it so falls through. What if it falls through? <laughs> yeah, I thought the then, same thing. Then, then we're having a problem. Or what if it urinates? That's, I thought, exactly. We both have the same. We're laying in bed barely awake at this point. But like, and I'm thinking I, the same exact like, thoughts. Okay. And I sat there and I thought about the <laughs> thickness of the panels above us. <laughs> and I was just like. <sighs> I don't know. what it was. Did they have possums? I honestly don't know. I mean, it could, it could have, have been, been a rat. It could have been oh, a Dude, berry. this was a beastly rat if it was a rat. I think, I, I was thinking maybe it's like a tanuki or something. Do they climb in people's houses and live? I don't know. Like, I don't know, whatever, whatever it was, it was like, and it wasn't a cat or something, because a cat would walk more delicately. This thing was like, thud, 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 thud. It was really weird. So anyway, it's been an exciting, <laughs> it's been an exciting visit here. I you, know, you know, for the value of content, it might yeah, have gotten yeah. its money's worth. It's true. <laughs> what, um, how do your legs feel and stuff from the hike yesterday? You all right? I think I'm going to know a little bit more about that when we start this 20 minute walk. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I can feel, I can feel the rubber bands are a little stretched in a weird way. You know what yeah, I mean? Um, my hams, you got rubber bands. I got hams over here. <laughs> my hams, uh, certain parts of the hams are not happy. <laughs> Got you with those hams, apparently. You weren't expecting yeah, that. Yeah, I do thing. think about them as hams. <laughs> All right. Very, very flattering of yourself that you got. Ah, oh, I got the thickness. <laughs> everybody wants the ham to put the ham on the table, and everybody's like, ooh, give me the ham. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> So we're just kind of like walking down the side of this road. <laughs> There's not a sidewalk or anything. We're just kind of hoping not to get hit by a car, basically. And Katie has apparently lined up some breakfast that uh, let's take a 50 50 chance on it being opened and uh, working out. And if not, then dreaded calorie mate is in our future. We're now in the woods. <laughs> Don't know if we're supposed to be in the woods, to be honest. But that's where we are. The ground is really squishy. Yeah, the ground is super squishy. I think it's because it rained so heavily two days ago and this is all covered by trees. That would be my guess. I think we can kind of squiggle our way out here, but I worry we're gonna end up walking through somebody's yard. But, uh... No yeah. one cares. Nobody cares, you're right. <laughs> yeah, nobody's coming outside telling you to get off their property. They're kind of like, oh. People. How'd they get here? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Probably found the trail that led to the woods. Oh. It was seriously like two minutes in the woods and we're back out on the main road. <laughs> kind of wish the whole trip was through the woods so it was much nicer. Less like I was going to get killed. <laughs> yeah. Just strutting down the road when you see a sign that is uh, got a Unko Sensei on it, which is a poop teacher. <laughs> And he's got a head made of poop. So that's what's going on here. <laughs> this is completely a coincidence. I didn't put these things together. And I am so incoincidentally funny, it is amazing. We are now at the home of the ham. 
Like, I, I didn't realize that that's what this place was called, nor that earlier today I was gonna refer to my legs as hams. Doesn't matter, we're gonna put the ham on the table and people are gonna eat it, because that's what they do. Um, we're going up in here just to get a little bit of something for breakfast. I don't, I don't know why this place is so hammy. Like, why people, I don't know if this area has a ham history or whatever, <laughs> but yeah. I saw a picture and we're gonna recreate it and it'll make me happy. <laughs> Ham's got a tricky door. Nice rock. Who's in the throne? Who's the king? <laughs> <laughs> I also, you look pretty dope in this chair. Have you seen your, you got some hands of your own? <laughs> Somebody already tried to take a bite out of the hams. <laughs> um, I would also like to point out, look at that big Bridget. <gasps> Bridget! Does it have a coin slot? Who has a coin this big? <gasps> it does. Are you put a coin in there? <laughs> Play cool? Play cool? <laughs> oh my god. I don't like it's that. not a coin thing. It's oh, just a creepy. fat pig. Mm. I don't know, they make it look too human, it freaks me out. So, uh, King Wiener, or, or you know, King Ham? King Ham. He's got a really cool logo where they've taken that nine-tailed fox and they've made it a pig. It, it, it's, a, it's a pig that's wearing a, the costume of the, uh, the nine-tailed fox. fox. Yeah, it's like yeah. a pig wearing the nine-tailed yeah. fox. It's um, genius. Here's your wiener, sir. <laughs> okay. And I, I just want to show everybody the uh, picture that I want to recreate. I don't know how well this is. Oh, that's looking good. It's 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 in focus. Yes. So this is this is how we're starting the morning. So he said this is very hot. Very oh god, hot. look at that loop. Look at it droop. Oh no. So oh we're, yeah. We're crossing the wieners. Crossing the wieners. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> good morning. Okay, here. What a breakfast. Mm. Oh, good. Yeah. It's really hot. It's really hot. <laughs> Very hot. And it's really hot. It's, it's almost hotter when someone else is holding it for you. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, in addition to this, I got, what was it called? A, a wiener King sandal. King sandal. So, I don't, where is it? How do you get into it? What? There's no inn. Wow. What in the hell? I guess you're supposed to... <laughs> I like that this wiener's got you completely... I just thought it would be like open on the top. What's a tiny little Zando? So I've got a little, it's like a little pita. And um, there is something inside. And I thought there was a wiener, but I'm not seeing a wiener. I think he's down in there. It looks like um, maybe like a gyoza filling or something like that, or like a Chinese dumpling filling, that kind of thing. Like, um, what are those things called? The Like a nikuman. Mm. Like, it looks, yeah, I think that's what. I think it's kind of nice to get something that isn't just another wiener, so that's, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. I got it because I wanted some breading or whatever. This wiener is seasoned really well. Mmm. The wiener has made an appearance. There is a wiener in there, y'all. That shit is small. Once, once it's a micro wiener. It's once, okay. once you've crossed wieners, like sword wieners and shit, and then that shows up, mm, it's a dismal wiener. <laughs> Man, that's gruesome. You gotta, what are you gonna, you, gonna, you gonna talk out like that? Mm-hmm. These wieners are 300 yen each. But if you go on the internet and you print out a coupon, you can get it for one fifty. And I was like, man, yeah, I love coupons. And then I realized, I don't have a printer. Who's printing? This is actually really good. Like it's all spiced and flavored well. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's, that's decent food, actually. Mm, that's good. Mm.
for a little weird roadside attraction, this is actually all right. It worked out pretty good. Yeah, once I saw that you could get food and I tried to verify as well as I could because in these troubled times, it's hard to figure out whether the ham house is open or not. Um, so I tried my best and now I'm living at large. Want the rest? No. <laughs> <laughs> surprised of this question that I'm asking you of you were you surprised that I already asked in a video that I didn't know was not rolling properly <laughs> I didn't push the record button she like starts going like we're talking like and it just didn't happen the question she asked was were you surprised were you surprised oh uh, I didn't know this is what we're coming to do I kind of assumed we were gonna be doing alpaca stuff or something just because yeah, it's like there, in the zone because we already did alpacas yeah. but um I, I steer cleared of that because we've already done it and I kind of steered clear of other animal activities which there are plenty of them here but like going and seeing a safari and a sad lion I'm just not into it yeah agreed um, so when we rounded the corner to come to this place Eric saw the uh, four-wheelers or buggies as yeah, they're, they're called, called buggies. Here. I didn't know that the buggies were going by and he was like are we gonna do that and <laughs> yeah um, when Eric was little he used to do four-wheelers on his parents farm that feels really weird to say yeah um, he used to do a lot of four-wheel stuff I, I think he did cooler stuff than what we did I today. Get to show, or... I get to show off the cool jumping picture I have here. Yes, <laughs> insert cool jumping picture. But um, and back in the day with my grandfather, he had a four wheeler and he used to take us out in the woods and we would like climb over trees with it and stuff. So I've done some of this before, but I've never been the driver so much. Oh, so okay. um, yeah, this they did a great job with mm -hmm. this course. Like in that small amount of area that we just got to traverse, I definitely felt excitement and I felt like challenge to do my best on it and just to you could feel all the different types of terrain and yeah i really enjoyed that it was a little expensive yeah it was but a little I'm expensive a cheap ass. yeah we got to go around twice and it's a pretty short course maybe like i don't know seven or eight minutes per time you go around it i think based on the clock on the gopro yeah i had and, a, yeah about um, five yeah and it is two thousand yen per wow. round yeah, but they let us switch in the middle, like, like so we went twice, right? 
and then we went around once and then Katie got the switch and drive and then she got to go around it. It so seems like they do really well, understand really that you probably wouldn't be coming here alone mm. and you want to have the maximum amount of fun with the person that you're with, like yeah. allowing you to switch and also a lot of like parent and children options here that make it so that you can really have as much fun as possible with your family. Yeah, um, it's really yeah. well set up. It's a little expensive, but I think for the experience that we just had, it was fun, it was worth yeah. it. Yeah, oh yeah. You wanna it. go on the stairs again? <laughs> I got 20 bucks. The stairs were pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then I think about like we're over here like squeezing pennies to save money on hotels and then we're like not having places to wash ourselves because we see you know what I mean like we yeah. try to squeeze out and then we're over here like splurging the big bucks on the little <laughs> three or four minute ride around on the four wheelers I'm like maybe our priorities are in the right places <laughs> yeah I'm gonna say right now you want to do this or take a shower this is probably mm, worth it I don't know kind of like taking a shower <laughs> maybe we could figure out a way to combine them if only, oh, we should have done, they have a mud course, but it's too far away for us to get to you. The mud course would have been a shower, essentially. It was a no mud way. shower. No, that's the exact of, opposite of a shower. Of mud. <laughs> no? No. All right. <laughs> I'm out of ideas. So we're back to just kind of walking up the road. <laughs> it's about 11 minutes, right? This is what Katie makes you do. <laughs> The area that we're in is near onsen areas, which is like hot spring towns and stuff like that. And places that are in the surrounding regions of these famous onsen areas tend to have all these like kitschy little things to do. And they are usually accessible via, via vehicle, which is what everybody around us is doing. And we are just walking on the street like a couple of Los Ankis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's just like, it's spread out just enough that it's just barely walkable but the roads we're walking on really aren't like people aren't driving super fast but you feel a little sketched out because there's a lot of blind corners and things like that but we're just kind of going along and like looking at a map on our phone and like trying to pick out things that we could do like the motorbike thing was another thing and over here there is perhaps maybe like a british style cafe that is like beatles style it's called penny lane we're looking that up and seeing if is it worth to walk down there a little bit but our adventure would be very different if we had a car we'd just drive over there it would open things up a lot more but at the same time it's kind of neat because we have done little kitschy areas like this before in cars so doing it on foot sort of changes the way you go about it even though it's a little less convenient man i thought it was a bread bowl with soup it's fondue that's that's too much cheese what's man. different oh it's just like a thick yeah, soup it's just is that what you think cheese is? Thick soup? It's just a thick soup. <laughs> no, it's cheese. It's melted cheese. It's just a thick soup. So the Beatles are selling $15 curry rice, and that's out of our price range. So we just hoofing it a little fondue, further. That fondue is like 25 bucks. I can melt cheese at home. That thick soup, $25? That's too much money. <laughs> So we're heading towards the tank and uh, whatever else might be at the main road. This is a real trip. <laughs> We've made it down to the main road. The bus runs up and down. And there is a family mart that we just popped into at a bathroom. And now we're looking for food and I'm kind of seeing that maybe there was a reason that Ringo was selling $15 or whatever. Because... Uh, thick soup. Yeah, the thick, no, the thick soup was even more money, wasn't it? Yeah, the thick soup was more money. Um, the tourist aspect of this region is driving the prices up a lot. So we're going to maybe hopefully find something that isn't like ridiculously priced. Uh, but I'm feeling like maybe we're going to be spending 15 bucks where we would normally be spending 10 even in Tokyo. Mm. Just because of the nature of the, uh, the eatage and the the tourism and everything it does is you come into these areas and you don't tend to have things that are simply like japanese food they're all like little quirky like westerny type things or you know what i mean it's not just like your standard like food that you would get in a normal japanese town it's not like a ramen joint every three feet it's not like that <laughs> It's like people are coming here and getting like hamburger steak and stuff and that's like kind of like a westernish thing or it's like three Italian restaurants or whatever. So it's kind of the universe we're in right now. Uh, so don't expect anything super like Japanese coming for lunch is basically where I'm going with this. Yeah. I think this place got a vibe as like a British or European settlement. Yeah, like yeah. All of the hotels that we've walked by today, they're like, they want you to feel like you're in a different place. Mm -hmm. Like everything's a cottage. Yeah. <laughs> 
we found lunch and it's actually not that expensive. It was like on 800 yen a person and we've gotten a couple of uh, cheese pies is what yeah, they're calling they're, them. They're, well, they're just called pies and then yeah. they have cheese and then they have like some special item in it. We've gotten the uh, fall, over here is the fall vegetables and over here is the apple cheese pie. Um, they were reasonably priced because we've just gotten the pie. The yeah. pie is 850, and then if you want to get the lunch set, it is 1500 yen, and that would include like a drink, a soup, and a dessert. But I know that there's a special dessert out there. You know this for a fact? No, oh. I don't. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited about the uh, possibility. Eric is taking his cow pills. And I am ready to eat. Like I've I think come up I, with, we've come up with a solution. I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's helped me with digesting lactose, and it works really well. So I got a mushroom, and it was tantalizing. Yeah, I'm really kind of excited about the um, fall vegetables. Fall vegetables. I couldn't find a word yeah. in my head. But they had one that was like an asparagus one, and we ordered that, and they were like, "We don't have it." But I am curious a bit about like. How is the, um, <laughs> always with the focus, uh, how is the cheese? Cheese is good. If, I think if the, at a restaurant, if cheese is the main deal, they don't mess around with it. Mm -hmm. The vegetables are really good. Yeah. And they're really fresh. Mm. I found a potato. This is actually pretty cool because I think this is a fairly unique um, thing to eat. Yeah, like, I, don't feel, some, I don't know if I've I haven't seen, seen this in Tokyo. Like this before. So, and it might exist, but it's not like a big thing. So, I feel like we're getting something special in an area that we've never been. Is the apple like a gorgonzola type of thing, or is it just the same cheese? I don't know. I haven't been over there. I feel like the apple one is the dessert. This is, you can kind of feel the video on that. But um, if you're gonna try it, I might as well try it too. Yeah, I'm gonna get a piece of apple out of the corner. I've been having trouble with setting up the framing on these shots. Like, you guys can't see the food, which is kind of, I wish you could. But, like, um, if I do that, then I'm good. I'm glad you can't, they can't see can't our see heads. It. Like, it's weird. I'm glad that you can't see it, because I'm not doing a good job over here. <laughs> okay, so we got a bit of apple and some cheese and some pie crust stuff. The apple's really good. Wow. Yeah, this is really good. All right, I'm impressed. I am impressed and happy and mm. ready to relax for a little while. Yeah, and I think this is like, we've earned the calories that this is because this is a mountain of calories. <laughs> With the amount of walking that we've done and everything, it's like, mm. it'll all offset. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, you're not gonna lose those hams. <laughs> mm. Don't worry, they're there forever. The chef, like his voice is just bellowing. <laughs> okay, to the bus. To the bus. Again, my eyes don't do good at this. And Eric says that we're good to go. All right. I promised a tank. There it is. It's kind of be in a tank still. I don't really know. We've come to like, it, it's a roadside attraction. Seems kind of like a old man's junkyard of uh, war memorabilia. Straight talk, I'm not going in there <laughs> because it's a thousand yen to get in and I have seen some pictures of what's going on in there. Like the upkeep on these items is not very good. Most of them are just sat and exposed to the skies and the weather so they aren't keeping up very well so we're just gonna admire stuff from here and wait for the bus to come the reason we hopped on the bus is because we didn't want to walk back up this hill which is basically just a straight incline <laughs> like the entire direction that we went this morning down was okay up is less good so there's a bus that just runs right up the main drag up back into the town where we had stayed for the last couple of nights and we came to pick up our bags which we had left with the sweetest little old lady in the universe that ran the place that we've been staying and um, we are now uh, chilling on the side of the road by the bus stop once again to head back down the hill all the way quite a long distance like an hour or something to the train system 
and Haiti is repacking the bag and hopefully doing it faster than the bus gets here. But the buses have all been pretty late, so I think we're probably gonna be okay. Uh, what time do you say it comes, 44? 46. 46, okay, it's 38 right now, you got time, it's all good. Katie's a quick packer. We have spent the last few hours transiting from the Tochigi resort area. <laughs> resort area is the right word that we've been spending. Uh, <laughs> that is exactly what they would call it. Yeah, man. I don't know, but I mean, where we were staying, there wasn't a place to take a shower. So I don't know if resort is really the right, the right language to use, but um, transiting from that point back to Tokyo, and we're back in Tokyo, we're in Ueno Station right now, and uh, we're having oh, Fika. You, you guys missed dude. a really terrible bus ride. Oh, dude, oh, this bus ride. I still feel sick to my stomach from it. Yeah. It was just stuck in traffic, stop and go, stop and go. You're riding sideways. I'm just sitting here like doing Japanese cards, so I'm looking at a screen the entire time, and the bus is just overheating, and the sun is on you the entire time. And it was like in traffic going yeah. down this hill. And I was sitting in the back, and dude, I do not fit in Japanese buses. Like, mm. not even close, not even a little bit. So my legs are just like crammed into the side. Just, it's just like a terrible experience. We both got off the bus, took my mask off, I'm like huffing and puffing. I thought I was gonna vomit. Mm. It felt really bad. And ever since then, I've just kind of been a little like, eh. But then we took a regular little train, and then we took the Shinkansen, the speedy bullet train. Yeah, and, and we actually got to fine. sleep on the Shinkansen, I think, together. Yeah. Uh, I think that it was, we were chancing whether we were gonna get a seat. Let's start, um, let's start for you, hold on a second here. To coming back to Tokyo? Uh, I was gonna say to a real trip. Yeah, it was a real trip. To the completion of a real, real trip. trip. Um, 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 we can do that in harmony. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what you say before you're gonna, you, you're thinking, but you're definitely eating. Mm. So this trip was unique for us to a degree because it's been a really long time since we've done a trip where we didn't have a whole bunch of plans in advance courtesy of Katie. Now back when we traveled around the world back in 2009, 2010, we kind of lived kind of in that world where we would just jump and do things and then just kind of plan things out sometimes on the spur of the moment. Like, but we don't really do that anymore. We live more of a, we know what, what pieces are going to click together and stuff because when you're traveling in a small time period, that's kind of the best way to travel and use your time. When we were traveling around the world, we had no time frame. We were just traveling until we didn't want to travel anymore. So this was a three day chunk that we had and we didn't have a whole lot of, to like set aside and what to do. Um, climbing the mountain was part of it uh, that we had planned ahead and obviously, obviously Kitty had booked the place to stay. Everything else was just like totally. You know, you know I would classify that as a place to stay. Yeah, a place to stay. Mm -hmm. That, um, that, that is literally not taking quality, actually taking quality into account. That place was pretty terrible. Yeah, but the lady there was so nice. She was like the, literally, seriously, one of the nicest people I've ever met. She was so sweet. The lady yeah, that worked she there. definitely was. But um, on a, if, it, if it's like a ten-point scale, and that hotel was a one, where's that lady taking it to? Like a three? <laughs> She's taking it to a three. She's super duper nice, but that place is so un accommodating. Her. So weird. Um, so anyway, the trip in itself being just like kind of like this like free ball trip. I think that's kind of unique recently for us. When I did my hitchhiking trip, I didn't plan anything. I, every day I'd wake up and just be like, okay, I guess I'm gonna do this thing. And I just went and did it. But that's not how you tend to roll. And again, that was a trip that had no time restraints. I could just go as long as I wanted. So in that type of scenario, you can travel differently. Yeah, um, and so. we definitely don't have that now. But Specifically we since I'm in the busy season right yeah, now. Yeah, with her work. Yeah. So we sort of restricted ourselves intentionally to a specific location by not having a car. And I think that that kind of helped keep that from getting completely overwhelming and out of control. Mm -hmm. um, but how do you feel like about the trip as a, at the end of it? Like, what, what, what's your take? I am super surprised it turned out to be what it was. Like, I kind of feel like day one was a scattershot, kind of just, it got laughable. 
at the end, like, can this really be going on? And then the second day was really conquering and really fulfilling. Climbing the mountain. And then the third day was just kind of like, oh, wow. Good day. Buggy day. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I, I'm having just gone, okay, we're going to that mountain. I booked this place. Fuck it, we're out. Um, I, I feel like this trip has outperformed my expectations. Yeah, and I think I kind of had expected, I always expect this. I'm like, okay, it's going to be a little bit relaxing here and there. And we, we never have those. We no. never had those moments. No, we and even now, chill. like, we when I could have relaxed, I'm just sitting there learning whatever the next thing in my Japanese book is. So there is no relaxing. Anymore. These are just like little, um, I don't even know, like little That's bread. That's a rusk. Br oh, it's a rusk? It's a rusk. Oh, is it? Oh, it does. They don't it know about the rusks rusk we've been eating all week. Um, Nasu is kind of famous. Nasu is where we were staying. I hope that in some ways come across. <laughs> Nasu Shiobara is part of Nasu. And, Which uh, is part of Tochigi. And uh, Nasu has like a famous rusk product. And these are actually made with like um, not tiny pieces of bread that have been com commercialized. These have been made with like real bread. They're soft and mm -hmm. they're... Kind of crunchy still. Though. They're also um, into pandas. Mm. I can't turn that anymore. I'm going to get a... There's water in there. Oh, there is a yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so They're action. endorsed by pandas because we're in Ueno. Um, and, yeah, quite good. But these, we got these in Tokyo. We didn't get these up there. Mm. But, yeah. I had a good weekend. Mm. I feel like I'm really tired and really kind of like... The bus ride really did me in, even though it was only like 45 minutes. Mm. But I think on top of all the hiking we did, walking around we did today, kind of makes sense. I started to wonder what sun poisoning feels like. Yeah, just sitting in the sun there was brutal. But I, but I think um, these pandas are the right medicine. <laughs> and uh, some drink and some relax and head home. Relax. We're gonna order Indian food. <laughs> I'm excited about this as well. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, all we eat is Indian takeout anymore. That's <laughs> It's like 80% of our diet. That's fine. Nice hands, girl. <laughs> This is the end of the Tochigi video that we had filmed the series of three Am I videos. Even in this? Oh, you are now. I was what just gonna was make it a surprise. <laughs> just... It was even a surprise for me. I was like, there's no way that camera knows I'm here. So, so this is the last of the three videos that we shot when we went up to Tochigi. And um, I just we got to do the end card thing where we do the thing where like subscribe and like, hit the bell and leave a comment down below and make the robots happy and, and uh, check out the things Facebook on and yeah, Facebook and Instagram, and Twitter, Twitter, and Twitch, Twitch, and Discord, Discord, and you can go over to Patreon to get more fun stuff. Yeah, a whole bunch of people signed up recently for Patreon. I want to say thanks for the people that have drifted over there and decided to support our video series and stuff. All it of means them, a lot. Not yeah, these most recent. Yeah, yeah, well, everybody, I, but like. No, no, I'm just, I, I think that's what you meant, and I wanted that mm. to be very evident. Yeah, for sure. Like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, this is really, really awesome, and it just keeps the whole thing afloat, and we can keep making videos through that, and it's really, really nice that people are that excited about our project to help it keep existing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, if you're interested in helping the project keep existing, the, the Patreon is a place to check it out. It's linked below, and you can get perks and stuff, and they're all listed on the Patreon stuff. Um, the next thing that we've got coming for anybody that's interested about the project still existing is something we filmed the last two days of the, as of the moment that we're speaking to the camera, where... I don't know do if I want to give spoilers. Do you talk normal? Like, that, what, what, huh? like I got a little backwards. two days of the time with which we are making this video. <laughs> so, I uh, I got to drive in Japan for the first time in a long time. So, we went on a road trip. and I got to get be... car sick in the passenger seat. <laughs> so, we've got that coming. Uh, you didn't honk, though. I, I never honk, but it was like the worst stomach upset I've had 2020, 2021? Definitely 2021, mm. maybe even like 2020. So, so look, like in the last like two years. Look forward to that hot action mm. coming soon. 